Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss mechanical ventilation during VV ECMO. The same setting can be applied on VV ECMO. We need to rest the lung to avoid uh, mechanical ventilation uh, complication. So this is will be discussed in details in the uh, in the in the next lecture. Every time we use ECMO, we use it for persistent hypoxemia to allow lung recovery, giving rest for the time to the lung uh, to recover or, do, or to replace the lung function till we started lung transplant. As any type of therapy, ventilation has a side effect and it's named ventilator-induced lung injury. The first thing is myotrauma and myotrauma is this expression referred to uh, decrease the function or impaired function of respiratory muscle due to uh, using of mechanical ventilation. Uh, so uh, this is first uh, complication. The second thing is uh, a volume trauma, and this expression is uh, referred to using high tidal volume, and this high tidal volume causing strain on, uh, on alveolocapillary membrane, causing disruption in this membrane and the release of inflammatory cytokines, and this is cytokines will cause by trauma and spread all over the body. The second, the fourth expression is atelectotrauma which is referred to that lung units are not equally the same elastance. So uh, with uh, tension uh, or with applying um, volume to the lung, we will find some, some um, uh, lung tissues is overinflated and others are not uh, inflated, uh, atelectasis. So this is referred to atelectotrauma. And the last one is parotrauma, which is referred to increased pressure over uh, the lung, causing pneumothorax, rupture of the alveoli, uh, pneumomethystinum, uh, and this is associated with a ventilator-induced lung injury. We should note that even if we use plateau pressure less than uh, 30, there will be overinflation, overdistension in some lung, uh, lung units. This equation of uh, mechanical power uh, of the ventilation, which uh, shown that the negative feed negative effect or negative impact of the mechanical ventilation on lung unit, uh, this is depend on uh, respiratory rate, its element, and uh, tidal volume, and PEEP. The three components are very important in this equation. Mechanical power of mechanical ventilation is reduced uh, if we uh, reduce the tidal volume less than 6 ml per kg. Also, reduction of respiratory rate will reduce the mortality. Uh, however, using high PEEP avoid uh, uh, lung derecruitment. So, uh, in a urea trial, when they reduce tidal volume, they reduce it 43%. Reducing respiratory rate 23%, and they maintain the PEEP uh, unchanged. This reduction of the estimated mechanical power of the lung uh, reduced it 66% from 26 joule per minute to 10 joule per minute. So what is our target in, in ventilation? We need to preserve diaphragmatic function. We need to use low volume and low respiratory rate, low pressures in the lung. And also, we should note that we need to avoid uh, oxygen toxicity from FiO2. We can maintain driving pressure less than 40 to 50 centimeter water. High beep can be used to prevent uh, lung recruit de recruitment and also helpful to reduce the mortality. When we use uh, VV ECMO, we targeted ventilation by using uh, low FiO2 to avoid VQ mismatch and absorption at Alexis. Uh, for uh, uh, respiratory rate, we will use lower respiratory rate to reduce cyclic recruitment and de recruitment, allowing spontaneous ventilation to avoid uh, respiratory muscle weakness and lower tidal volume, and this will help to reduce pulmonary edema, reduction in cytokines production, and protect the alveolar epithelium. And lastly, we should maintain uh, SpO2 80 to 80%. Why always we are concerned with ventilator lung injury, especially in patients with ECMO? Because before ECMO, the patient will have high ventilatory setting, 
and this is a high ventilatory setting will increase by time exaggerated by the time also increasing peep or high peep will compromise cardiac output a ventilatory setting allowing the, vent the lung to recover there is something called a 30 30 10 10 approach 30 5 to 30 plateau pressure less than 30 centimeter water 10 peep uh, 10 aspiratory rate 10 this is the setting recommended for uh, a patient who are on ECMO. only setting uh, that increase proved to decrease the mortality in ventilation is uh, driving pressure uh, and the recommended number is to be less than 14 to 15 centimeter uh, 15 centimeter water and it was found that we should monitor the compliance and the compliance is dependent on plateau pressure so increasing compliance is equal uh, uh, to uh, or enhancing the compliance is to better to maintain peep uh, fixed at uh, 10 centimeter water so not to reduce the peep uh, as we know that as a compliance improved we are going to wean the, the ECMO and uh, start uh, to decannulate the patient the mood preferred whatever the mood we will use we should be oriented regarding the approach we will use we should put in our mind a, a pressure a limit uh, we should put in our mind early extubation minimizing paralysis allowing spontaneous uh, breathing so improving the phragmatic function decrease uh, or improving the shunt uh, will end also improving organ perfusion Target arterial bo2 should be more than 45 uh, millimeter mercury and if io2 should be less than 30 percent accepted uh, spo2 should be uh, 80% to 88%. We can mention uh, many mechanical um, modes used on mechanical ventilation depending on the center experience and individual experience. But all of them we should put in our mind. We can control the plateau uh, and the peep, determine driving pressure, uh, Reduce, increasing tidal volume to reach 6 uh, ml per kg till, so we, then we can wean allowing spontaneous uh, breath uh, this is, can be used in EPRV on ECMO or we can use bi-level airway pressure and, at, and when we use bi-level airway pressure we will use inspiratory pressure inspired pressure uh, 20 to 25 centimeter water also using PEEP uh, 10 so here the driving pressure will be 10 to 15 centimeter water 50, uh, and respiratory rate from 10 to 12 uh, cycle per minute support using pressure support uh, which allowing uh, spontaneous press and a quiet low transpulmonary pressure also patient can be extubated and uh, breathed spontaneously uh, we can mention some tips for uh, uh, mechanical ventilation. If the patient has bronchial pest, we can use a prolonged expiratory time. We can use a high level of PEEP uh, if the patient is obese uh, to avoid uh, atelectasis and uh, helping in uh, rapid recovery of the lung. Here there is a table for a collect uh, collection of uh, summary for all the studies done uh, on mechanical ventilation uh, on a co patient and it summarized that all patient most of the studies goes with the same effect uh, if i told it then uh, 40 plateau pressure shouldn't exceed uh, 25 peep uh, as high as 10 uh, respiratory rate maximum 10 uh, if we return back to a uh, trial we will find that uh, it's 13 uh, 10 day, uh, 10 years ago so um, it was still a uh, very it's old, a little bit old study, and we now go for uh, um, 10, uh, 10 cycle per uh, per minute. It's better to uh, to allow uh, the lung uh, to, to to recover. Uh, we should know that uh, patient may take uh, uh, weeks uh, uh, 
uh, days, uh, weeks, sometimes more to uh, for the lung for recovery. Uh, and we uh, sh should note that also uh, daily assessment for uh, patient on mechanical ventilation for weaning uh, as soon as possible from uh, the uh, from the um, ECMO and uh, uh, the parameter which uh, judge our weaning from the ECMO is lung compliance. Besides uh, also the book, this is a reference for this lecture. Can you can post your, uh, your comments or question in, in the comments.